What's good everyone, it's your boy Sifu G, the Esoteric Warrior. Hope everyone's doing good this evening. Absolutely freezing here in Australia. But, I thought I'd quickly hop on and share something that I don't talk off, often about because you see me do a lot of hand work, but I also do a lot of kicking. And I thought I'd quickly teach and show you the first section of Iron Snake Kicking Set. There's four sections. And the first kicking set utilizes a knee, a side kick, a stomp kick or a bleak kick, and a front kick, or it uses as a jumping front kick, lead leg. <clears throat> Although you see me do all the bag work with my hands, I'm pretty uh, sufficient and efficient in my kicking skills. Coming from a, a Hapkido background and kickboxing, I've done a lot of kicking in my time. The Iron Snake though, very street orientated kicks. All the four sections that link up incorporates many different throws and sweeps, as well as trips and different types of kicks. It's very, very good. So I thought I'll just quickly run through the first section so you have got it. I will be doing the complete uh, Section, four sections on Vimeo very soon. Just at the moment, been super busy and lots going on in my life. And I thought I've only got a little bit of time right now and I'll quickly share with you the Iron Snake Kicking Set Section 1. <clears throat> so I'm going to do it as the form first and then I'm going to break down how it can be used in the street, right? So it starts with a cat stand salute, then it comes off on the 45 and it uses the two bones and two bones, one high and one low, to catch a roundhouse kick and locks that in the pit of your elbow. So you want to catch that kick and, that, and once you catch the flow, once it comes from here, this catch turns into a knee. And when someone does a roundhouse kick and the leg's up and you've caught that leg, it exposes the femur bone on the inside thigh. And that's the direction that you want to be aiming for that kick, uh, for that knee, sorry, to try and snap the bone because it's at a weaker point uh, when that leg is extended. So it's very useful to catch a kick, bang, and get the knee. And, and it's quite useful in the street, right? When you're, uh, when you're sparring like this and your hands are up and that kick comes, you can shuffle in, catch that leg, and all in one motion, throw that knee, right? So if I'll shake it up like this, boom, straight in the leg, catch and lock in my arm, uh, elbow crease, right? So if I was like this, I come through and I can throw that kick straight over the knee, straight in to the thigh and it's coming on a 45 and you want to extend straight into that uh, femur bone. Right, so after the salute, it steps forward, catches knee and then it does a side kick to the opposite leg. Right, so once that, uh, I'm shaping up, I see him do a lead leg lead uh, roundhouse shuffle, I'm going to catch that knee and his standing leg, I want to side kick and cut through that uh, tendons on the knee and upset that balance for the first or try to snap the patella, uh, the knee bone, uh, the knee cap, All right, so that can be a good follow up once you catch that kick. You can then side kick the opposite leg and what it does in the form from here as I go one, two, knee, side kick comes out with a palm. That's actually, you've still got the leg and you're going to throw the person, right? So once I catch that and kick, I'm under his ankle and that is to toss him away like that, right? So from the side, from the salute, 45, catch, knee, break the leg, and throw. 
the reason for the form is telling us that we need to move into the kick and not to move away from the kick and wear it. <coughs> so when you see him load up and start to throw that roundhouse, you're going to use the arms as a buffer and catch it and then lock and automatically all in one go straight into the knee then hit the bottom leg and throw it out like this. From that point this could be an on guard, I'm covering and then it socks out like this and grabs the arm so that could have been a bridge socks out and that will get the person for the stomp kick to the knee um, it could also just be like a frame and stomp kick like this like that right so the first one knee and then break the leg right from here and try to force that uh, other leg even if that missed You've got that other backup to try and stomp uh, uh, to low side kick and attack. You can also attack the Sami down on the leg, the points here, right? And that will weaken the knee and you can actually get that uh, ankle to roll and injure the foot. Still a bit cooked, <laughs> I'll tell you what. But, uh, <clears throat> so from the salute, it rolls, coming forward, catches, knee, side kick, throw, I'm 45, I'm open here. See how a sock sow, that could have been a grab or just to move a hand and a bleed kick to the knee. Right. <clears throat> so even just fighting, that can be a very useful uh, tool and then, of course, you'll practice lead and uh, rear leg, but in the form, it's telling you just one, but you got to practice two, right? <laughs> so it'd be this side and this side. And you're not dropping your hands. That's telling you that your hands are up to do the kicks, right? So everything's got a guard, right? Like this, I'm always covered. I can knock the arm away and stomp the leg and I can look through my hands there. Um, from the stomp, after you sock out like this and you stomp, it does a jumping lead leg snap kick, which also could be a stomp and step through and a tip or a front kick. You want to use the ball of your foot now once I stomp, he moves away and I direct the kick. The higher the knee is the level that the foot should be going. <clears throat> right. So from here, stomp and push out with the kick. So the knee has to direct the, the height and the preci precision of this kick should where the, uh, the balls of the feet is going in. <clears throat> right, so from the side here, right, if I was practicing like this, and that's just one section, and then you can, with a partner, work your techniques, work drills, and work on the pads and on the bag, even the wooden dummy, with your stomps, right, so like this and side kicks to the knee so that is the iron snake level one i'll do much more detail but i'll quickly hop on share the first section which starts from here stepping forward catch knee side kick throw socks out stomp kick and then it palms out and pulls back. Alright, so Iron Snake is very good for the street. The kicks are nasty. First one is learning how to knee, side kick to the leg, oblique or stomp kick, and a front kick, which is 
four, but has awesome usages and very useful for the street fighting. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, guys.